So it's been a brilliant game. It's definitely been a wonderful game. Arsenal versus Luton. We're going to be looking at uh, the analysis and how everything went. Definitely it's been uh, great goals uh, and Arsenal goals. Arsenal versus Luton Town at the end of the first half. I will be remember that Arsenal was leading Luton. Uh, Luton Town with a score of 2-0. We're talking about the first half before we go on. Let's delve into key moments and performances. And right about now, we're going to start with our goals, exactly what was happening. So Arsenal opened up uh, scoring in the 23rd a minute uh, with a clinical finish from their captain himself, Martin Odegaard. You will be remembered that the goal showcased Martin Odegaard's composure and skill in front of the goal and that was quite brilliant it was a proper finish very wonderful finish later it will be noted that arsenal had doubled their lead and we should say thanks to an own goal to luton town's uh daiki hashioka uh, who was uh quite uh, nervous then uh, and uh, he was not very happy actually about that goal in the 43rd minute and these two goals definitely saw Arsenal's attacking intent and ability uh, come up and uh, Arsenal had to capitalize on the opportunities that he definitely had. Looking at uh, the attacking threads, uh, looking at the attacking threads, you know, Arsenal's attacking uh, trio of Martin Odegaard, Smith Rowe and Kai Havis has definitely been instrumental in creating chances and putting pressure on Luton Town's defence. So, you could definitely see the pressure that was going into uh, Luton Town's defence in the first half. They could not uh, they could not withstand it. And Smith Rowe's dynamic movement and Kai Havertz's creativity have also uh, troubled the opposition. Uh, while Martin Odegaard's goal highlights his clinical finishing ability and also uh, how hungry he's been uh, for goals you know he's definitely trying to score as many goals as he can looking at a solid defense actually uh, Arsenal's defensive line is what we also need to look at so uh, anchored by uh, Ben White William Saliba and Gabriel Mangales I uh, has shown a uh, resilience and organization uh, limiting Luton Town's opportunities in front of the goal and it will be noted that their ability to block shots and win aerial deals and uh, actually has been uh, very crucial in maintaining the clean sheet in the first half and the midfield dominancy is another thing that we need to talk about mainly in the first half before we can cross over to the second half so uh, midfield dominancy. We saw Thomas Patti's uh, Thomas Patti coming back. So Thomas Patti's presence in the midfield has provided stability and control, allowing. Arsenal to dictate the tempo of the game and it will be noted that a pair of two wonderful midfielders we're talking about his partnership uh, with Martin Odegaard who operated as a team's captain today has been pivotal uh, it's been pivotal in uh, the uh, attacks that have gone on at uh, the game today breaking a Luton Town's defense down and really it definitely was a brilliant one and also we need to look at set pieces you know uh, uh, under uh, set piece threads to be specific yeah so Arsenal has demonstrated their threat uh, from set pieces with Leandro Trossard and Kai Havers coming very close I mean this close are uh, coming very close to scoring uh, from corners you know uh, Leandro Trossard blocked shot uh, in the 41st minute exemplifies Arsenal's danger uh, from dead ball situations i'm telling you and at this time i think we also need to look at injury concerns that were in the first half so uh firstly i must say uh, uh firstly Arsenal faced a minus setback with an injury 
uh, to Diak uh, to da to Daikia uh, Daiki Hashioka, who is a Luton Town football player, and this resulted into a brief delay in the match. However. Arsenal remained focused and putting in consideration that they needed those three points. It had to maintain uh, their momentum after the interruption, which was quite, quite good. And uh, uh, summing up uh, the first half before we see what exactly transpired in the second half. Overall, Arsenal's dominance, uh, dominant performance in the first half reflected their attacking prowess, defensive solidarity, and midfield control, which was quite, quite good. And now, let's look at exactly what happened in the second half, my friends. Where are you watching from? Just make your point, subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you do not miss out as uh, Arsenal uh, drew 1-1 uh, one -one with uh, Manchester City and now this win definitely a very good one against Luton Town. Second half analysis really uh, looking about what happened in the second half and Arsenal versus Luton Town in the second half. Arsenal maintained the dominancy over Luton Town securing a comfortable 2 0 victory in the second half. They made sure no mistakes are made whatsoever. And here is a breakdown of the key moments that really went on and uh, contributed to the development of that 2 0 and really uh, maintaining it. So, defensive stability is one thing. Arsenal's defensive line remained solid and organized throughout the second half. If you tr if you watched that, you definitely could see it. Denying Luton Town any significant goal-scoring opportunity, definitely that was quite good, we must say. Uh, uh, the defenders on there did a great job. Players like Ben White, William Saliba and Gabriel uh, Mangalais continued to showcase their strength and tactical awareness effectively and uh, that was quite quite good. And uh, Luton Town's attacks did not go anywhere. Even when they tried, they, uh, the defense was very solid. We also need to look up uh, midfield control in the second half. Despite substitution in midfield with Jogino replacing a Smith Rowe. Asno maintained control of the midfield but Thomas Party's uh, substitution uh, with uh, also Declan Rice father uh, blustering uh, Arsenal's midfield presence are uh, throwing them to uh, dictate the tempo of the game and that was quite quite great and guess what it did it definitely prevented Luton Town from building up a uh, substantial attacks at that moment in time because Luton Town had shown a bit of uh, 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 urge to score uh, goals and uh, the substitutions were made which were definitely quite good then attacking intent is also another thing to talk about Arsenal continued to pose a big threat uh, um, uh, on actually on going forward uh, with Edin Katia replacing Kai Havens to provide uh, fresh energy in the attacking third and you could see that was a good decision uh, though it didn't result in two goals but you could see Arsenal was uh, very hungry for goals while they didn't add to their goal tally uh, in, in the second half will be remembered and noted that Arsenal remained very dangerous in uh, the encounter uh, uh, in the in the counter attack and uh, uh, came close to scoring uh, through Katia's effort in strategic uh, substitutions you know uh, definitely are uh, uh, something we need to talk about also so uh, st uh, strategic uh, uh, substitutions you know Arsenal manager made it quite easy and also uh, uh, through bringing in these substitutions uh, throughout the second half introducing players like Declan Rice, Edin Katia and Martinelli to maintain the momentum and control of the game uh, these definitely these substitutions are uh, proved effective in uh, on ensuring Arsenal's dominancy until the final whistle and uh, de definitely that was a good thing to witness. Also, we need to look uh, at uh, discipline, you know, we need to look at discipline. So, 
uh, Arsenal's uh, uh, discipline, uh, some disciplinary issues in uh, the second half with Kai Harvey's uh, receiving a yellow card uh, for a foul. Yeah, that's something we are needed to see, to look into. However, uh, uh, Arsenal definitely managed to maintain uh, their composure and focus on securing the win without letting disciplinary matters disrupt the game and not even disrupt the performance. That was uh, quite, quite good, you know. And... Uh, uh, overall, overall, before we can look at uh, the table and how it looks uh, right about now, overall performance of Arsenal, uh, Arsenal delivered a professional and composed performance in the second half. I definitely have to say that in the, uh, in the second half, it was effective. Uh, the second half was effectively managed, uh, quite well managed. And uh, the lead of Arsenal uh, seeing out the game with confidence was something very good. And the defensive solidarity, midfield control and attacking threats were key factors in securing the 2-0 victory of, a, of a Luton Town. As the match really went on and ended uh, with Arsenal emerging victorious, it will be noted that they can take pride in the second half performance and use it as a spring ball and also uh, despite of using it as a string board for uh, the, for future matches uh, uh, Arsenal should be proud of itself uh, because when you look at uh, the management of the second half with already two goals scored you know when it's two goals this is what I always say when it's two goals you're not safe you're not yet 100% safe because uh, you can be scored and equalized and a serious club can get the third goal but Arsenal staying composed and knowing that even at two goals you're not safe but staying composed and finishing the uh, the game with 2 nil that was uh, very very brilliant let us know what you definitely think in the comment section about this game and it's been a brilliant one it's been a very wonderful one as I'm going to be uh, going we need to see uh, where is Arsenal in the Premier League table now is Arsenal topping the Premier Premier League table or it's a bit uh, challenging still. Thank you for being part in that. Uh, let's dive into, uh, let me see what I've got for you. Yes, um, I need to see what I've got for you. Uh, I need to see the English Premier League table, yeah? Uh, we need to look at the English Premier League table and see where Arsenal is and uh, exactly what is going on. Is Arsenal going in the first position after this win? Oh, no. So, with how many points? Definitely. Let's get into it. So, definitely, you can tell that Arsenal at this moment in time, uh, Arsenal is in the first position you know and uh, with 68 points and that's quite brilliant you know so uh, you can tell that Arsenal is uh, uh, in the first position with uh, 68 points and uh, Liverpool uh, in the second position with 67 points but Liverpool has a game in hand uh, but uh, by the time when I was when I was recording this, when I was uh, doing this, it was three one, and uh, it moved to four one. Manchester City very hungry for goals, and uh, it's not yet even ended at the game of Manchester City. It's eighty nine minutes, and I think it might uh, by this time it was eighty nine minutes, and it was four one. So I don't know how it will end, but I think uh, maybe maybe it might end 4-1 uh, it was 3-1 by the time I got that on but it's 4-1 uh, Manchester City and Manchester City are having uh, 67 points then Aston Villa having uh, 49 points uh, Tottenham Hotspur 57 Manchester United uh, Arsenal rivals Manchester United 48 points you can see the difference 68 and 48 that's big massive difference you know Ooh, Manchester United should be ashamed of themselves. So, and West Ham in the seventh position with 45 points. So, uh, you can feel free to let us know uh, what you definitely think. And um, uh, Foden had a hat-trick, yeah? Yeah, Foden had a hat-trick. Very dangerous football player. 
from Manchester City and uh, Rodri uh, uh, had a goal, first goal in the 11th minute. Anyway, Manchester City is not the reason we're here. We're here because of Arsenal. We want to talk about Arsenal and what is transpiring in the camp of Arsenal. So at this moment in time, uh, let's uh, really, uh, I think if I say that uh, it's been a wonderful game, it's been 2-0, uh, there is no reason as to why any Arsenal fan should be, should not be happy about this, uh, should be happy. I think uh, let's meet in yet another video and my friends do not forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you do not miss out on whatever I've got to bring to you as long as it's sports and as long as it's Arsenal related right about here at the Arsenal chapter with me your very host Abu Kaos as I say thank you and goodbye for now.